time and welcome for Merry Christmas, uh, Feliz Navidad. So I hope everyone is having a uh, Merry Christmas and Happy Christmas. Uh, during my last video, I told y'all that in, in a couple of days from now, I will be doing another um, Christmas video. That would be uh, give me all my uh, uh, top 10 favorite uh, Christmas song of all time. Okay? So, um, let me know in the comment section down below what are your, uh, your top 10 favorite Christmas songs of all time. Okay? Now, uh, I did come up with 10 favorite a 10 favorite Christmas songs of all time. I do got them all on the mention. I will, I will, um, mention. Okay. Um, and the first stop I want to say before I get started is they're not in any order. Okay. I don't have my, like, uh, 10 to 1, you know, uh, and number 1 and my most favorite. Okay. Any of, any of these songs can be my number one favorite. Okay. Um, okay, uh, if you know what I mean, okay, I know, I know most people, uh, most people when they hear, like, the, the top 10 a favorite movie, or top 10 favorite TV show, a top 10 favorite fast food restaurant, or so on and so forth, uh, you know what I mean, like, you know, a 10 to 1, and when you get to 1, that's their most favorite, okay, wherever they're talking about, movie, TV shows, so on and so forth. That's not it. With this, okay? I, I, just, I, just, I just came up with 10 Christmas songs that, that I really like, and I hit so many times in the past, and I really liked it, and any, like I said, any of these are not in any order, okay? But they come up with 10, okay? Uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call all of these out one by one and, and try to give you the background of each, each of these songs and I'll also tell you why they're one of my favorite in my, in my 10 favorite uh, Christmas songs of all time, okay? Before I do that, I gotta give you some honorable mention, okay? Like, uh, one of them is Frosty the Snowman. I like Frosty the Snowman, okay? My favorite version of it is, uh, Worthy Nelson, okay, because that's the one I listen to the most, okay. Um, another one is the um, Winter Wonderland, Walking in the Winter Wonderland, okay. Um, another one would be uh, Way in the Manger, okay. I like I like singing that in church, I like hearing that in the Andy Griffin show, okay. Okay, so around Christmas time, you're going to hear Way in the Manger, okay? Another one is Come All You Faithful. I like I like that song. I, I know that that's another one I know by heart. Okay, I like Come All You Faithful. Another one is Hearts the, the Hero Angel Thing. So I'm, right now, I'm just doing an honorable mention, okay? Um, what's another one? Um, let's, uh, Tonight, the standard went crazy by Weird Al Yankovic. Okay. Um. Okay. Um. Yeah, yeah. The reason why I'm not here because a lot of people have never heard that song. It's kind of silly and violent and goofy. But I like it and I'm a fan of Weird Al Yankovic. Um. I like, I like that Christmas song that they sing and, uh, and in that in that Walt Disney movie, the Quick Family Robinson, or oh, Quick Tree, oh Quick, but it's a very hard song to find. And the, the few times I heard it, I really like it. I wish I could hear more. Okay, um, so um, and also another one, my last honorable mention would be uh, Happy Holiday with Mary Bell. Okay, by Annie Williams. Okay, um, so now we'll get to we'll get to my uh, ten favorite 
Christmas song. Not a lot. Like, if someone says, you go on, if you go and listen to, uh, 10 Christmas songs every year. I mean, you know, during the Christmas season, every year, these are the ones that I would pick. Okay? Um, Felice Navidad, okay? Felice Navidad, Felice Navidad, they go by, Felice, Felice Navidad. Wanna wish you Merry Christmas, okay? Uh, okay? So, I learned how to say, uh, wish you a Merry Christmas in Spanish by this song. And I like it. Um, um, Fleet Navidad translate Merry Christmas is a Christmas song written by and first recorded in 1970. Okay, it's a Puerto Rican singer songwriter Jose Fleet Canado simply heartfelt lyric translation uh, Bennett Christmas like New Year greeting Fleet Navidad. Okay. Uh, um, it's three minutes long. Um, in twenty ten, the nineteen seventy recording of Felipe Navidad, RCA record, Pro Day Felipe Canano were inducted into the Grammy Hall of Fame. Okay. Um, the, the another one I like. And one of my favorite uh, Christmas songs of all time is Oh, have a blue, blue Christmas without you. I'll be so blue just thinking about you. Yeah, Blue Christmas by Elvis Presley. Okay. Um. Yeah. Okay. Um. Now. Um, it said it's two minutes and, and seven seconds. Okay. Um, it said it, it was first recorded by Don, Don, Dewey O'Dell in 1948. Um, okay. Especially in the country genre. Okay. Um, Uh, so, um, Elbert committed the statute that it a blue Christmas at a rock and roll holiday classic by recording it for, um, 1957 LP Elbert Christmas album. Uh, Presley version and notably as well as currently in that background vocal group of the Golden Name. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. Um. Um. Uh, another one of my favorite Christmas songs of all time is It's the most wonderful time of yeah. Okay. Love that song, okay? It just feels good. Uh, Christmas song. I like it by Andy Williams. That's probably, uh, one of the most, uh, his most famous song. And his second most famous song is probably Happy Holiday. Those are, those are two songs I know of Andy Williams. I don't know any other song that Andy Williams uh, sang. Besides those two songs, okay? Um. Okay, um, said it's the most wonderful time of the year is a popular Christmas song written in 1963 by Edward Puller and Joy Wilder. It recorded and released that year by pop singer Andy Williams for the first Christmas album, the Andy Williams Christmas album. However, the song was not released as a promo promotional single by Williams record label Columbia Records. That year, a dead promote his cover of White Christmas as the official promote single for the album. The song peaked at number 21 on the UK single chart, 3 7 and reached into the top 10. 
particularly in the 2000 pick at number 5 in 2020 on the Billboard Hot 100 single chart in the USA. Okay? It's 2 minutes and 33 seconds. Okay? Um, yeah. Okay? Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, I like it, okay. I like li listening to that song uh, every year. I like listening to it in movies, like Home Alone 2 and stuff. I like listening to it every Christmas, okay. And I think that song should went to number one, okay. Uh, Silver uh, Barrel. Now, um, Silver Barrel is a song that I like. I don't hear that much on the radio, and I don't know who who is the uh, the singer is. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look it up and tell y'all who it is, and they're gonna be the first time I'm, I'm, I'm learning about the background of Silver Bell, okay? But I know, the, I, I, I know the song. Silver Bell, Silver Bell, it's Christmas time in the city. Ring a ring. Yeah, you, yeah, you know the words, okay? Um, so, it said that it started by William Fall. Ole, you know, the guy that put up, uh, Fred Murray, you know, and I Love Lucy, okay? And then it said, Thug in the General, Known Virgin Immediately, Thereafter by Bob Hope and Marlon Maxwell in the motion picture of The Lemon Drop Kid, which was filmed in Ju July and August 1950 and released in March 1951. The first version was done by Bing Crosby. Carl Richards on September 8, 1950, with John Scott Potter and his orchestra and the Lane Gordon singer. The recording was released by Jekka Records in October 1950 after the Crosby Richards recording became popular. Hope Master was called back in the late 1950 to shoot a more elaborate production of the song. Wow. Okay. Um. Uh, okay. Now. Um, another one is, um, uh, Happy Holly Jolly Christmas by, uh, Burl Ives. Okay, Love It Stone. Um, okay, um, now I'm gonna look, look it up. It said, um, Holly Jolly Christmas, also known as Harry Holly Jolly Christmas, a Christmas song written by Johnny Mark and more famously performed by Burl I. The song has then became one of the top 25 most performed Holly songs written by ASCAP members for the first five years of the 21st century. The Successful 
cover had already been recorded by Alan Jackson, Gerald Nimmin, Lady Annabella, and Michael Bubble. Okay. Um, I grew up with the Alan Jackson. Okay. Uh, every Christmas, my dad would used to have a, um, a Santa Claus that would, that would dance and shake his hip and stuff. And, um, when he ch danced and shake his hip, it would play the Alan Jackson cover of Have a Holly Jolly Christmas. And a couple years ago, like three or four years ago, or maybe five years ago, it, uh, Santa Claus broke. So we don't have that anymore, okay? But like I said, I did grow up with the Alan Jackson cover, and I, I think Alan Jackson did a good cover of the Burl Eyes Have a Holly Jolly Christmas, okay? Um, okay? Um, okay? Um, next one is the one that I imagine a lot of people probably don't know, and only if you a um, um, a Alan Jackson fan, and because Alan Jackson came out with, came out with a song called "Let It Be Christmas," okay, it's a beautiful song, and I'm a I'm a big Alan Jackson fan. And, um, okay, um, okay, um, let me see here, uh, Okay, um, so, yeah, so, uh, this is a song that I recommend listening to, I went, uh, uh, Christmas music station during the holiday will play this song, but, uh, I don't have them playing this song, it don't give me the, it don't give me the background on this song, Okay. Okay, but I like it. One of my favorite. It's beautiful. Got good, good lyric, good word. Okay, let it be Christmas. And it's on one of Alan Jackson's Christmas albums. Okay. Okay. Um. Uh, let me see here. Let's see. So, so the next Christmas song I like is the one by John Lennon called uh, This Is Christmas. Okay? Uh, oh, you like that song? Uh, I'm trying to, I'm trying to look up the background for y'all. Okay, um. So it's a happy, 
X Men War It Over. It's a Christmas song released in 1971. That's a single by John and Yoko. Clapped it on no band with the Harlem Community Choir. It was the seventh single released by John Lennon after he worked with the Beatles. The song week number four in the UK when it released was delayed until November 1972 and the stadium remained on. UK single chart, most notable after uh, Lennon murder in uh, December 1980 when it peaked at number two. Okay. So, this Christmas, what have you done? Merry, Merry Christmas. Another year in old ground. Merry, Merry Christmas, what have you done? See, I love that song, okay? Um, instead, also a pro protest song against the Vietnam War, Happy Ethan War is over, has become a Christmas stand frequently recorded by other artists, appearing on Complication album of seasonal music named and poll at a holiday favor in UK wide poll in December 2012. And it was voted 10th on an ITV television special, the nation's favorite Christmas song. I didn't know that. Do you? Um, okay. So, uh, I really like that song. Um, that, that is one of the uh, few Christmas songs that, the last couple of years, the more I listen to it, I'm like, you know what? I really liked it more. And now it became one of my uh, favorite, one of my favorite uh, uh, Christmas songs of all time. Now it's in my top 10, okay? Um, Um, now the next one is probably my favorite gospel uh, Christmas song called Oh Holy Night. I like this one better than Silent Night because Silent Night is the one that everyone um, sings the like uh, the most famous gospel song is uh, Maiden Grey. Cause everyone sing the Maiden Grey. And I'm like, you know, the other gospel song out there besides Maiden Grey. So like the other uh, gospel Christmas song out there besides Silent Night. And I like this one better than uh, Silent Night. I still like Silent Night, but I like this one. I think this one is more beautiful, Old Holy Night. And, um... And I don't know who 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 wrote the song. Okay. It says it came out in eighteen forty seven, okay? Um It's a sacred song for Christmas performance, originally based on a French language poem by poet Pratine Capu, written in 1843. Okay, uh, the English version with small changes to melody by John Sullivan White. The carol reflects the fight on the birth of Jesus as humanity. Redemption, okay? I just like this song so much, okay? So beautiful, okay? Um, okay? Yeah, okay? Um, um,
And then another one of my favorite Christmas songs I like is Jingle Bell Rock by Bobby Helm. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. Jingle bell swing and jingle bell swing. Bowing and bowing, go to the fire. Now the jingle bell hat party hat party have begun. Okay, you love that song. Um, rock the night away in the fall. Yeah. What a bright time, it's a bright time, we rock the night away. Okay, uh, after you hear this song every year, it, when you were a kid, now you're older, you, you know this song by heart, okay, I know this song by heart, okay, and, and, and I grew up with this song in Home Alone 2, hear it on the radio, and I, I liked it, okay, and Bobby Harrell, um, did to hit, did, to me, did to probably hit that song. I don't know if he, if he have any other song that, that is more popular or if it's more famous than this. In my opinion, did to hit that song, okay? Um, okay. Uh, it said it, it came out in 1957. It, 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 it had received frequent airplay in the United States during every Christmas season. I can see why. And it's true, it's the number one. You know, uh, week number one. On the billboard chart. Okay. It might have, I don't know, let me see. It said it's 2 minutes and 12 seconds. Um. Okay, 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 it, 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 it don't tell me, um, uh, let me see here, um, uh, yeah, it, it don't tell me how much, how, how, how much, uh, how much, uh, how many sales it made in the, in the, in the United States. And then uh, my last favorite Christmas song in my in my top ten is Brenda Lee, uh, "Rocking Around the Christmas Tree at the Christmas Party Hop." Okay, and the other day there was an article that said, uh, uh, "Rocking Around the Christmas Tree" finally went to number one. In December of 2023, and Brenda Lee was like 13 years old when she sung it for the very first time. Okay, and that's the only song I think I know of Brenda Lee. And I think it said that she's in the Country Music Hall of Fame, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. In my opinion, this is her best song. And I think everyone seen, heard this song in the first time alone. Okay, um, yeah, okay, um, yeah, and also, this song should have went number one a long time ago, six, five years ago, okay, there's a lot of good songs that they don't get, they don't get, uh, reach the number one, but they're still good songs, and I'm like, what, yeah, okay, so, um, um, so those are my, uh, favorite Christmas songs, not in any order, like Walking Around the Christmas Tree, love it, connecting to that song every Christmas, connecting to Silver Bell every Christmas, it's the most wonderful time of the year, love that song by Amy Williams, love Blue Christmas by, uh, I would personally love Felipe Navidad. Love Let It Be Christmas by Alan Jackson. Love O Holy Night. Love love hearing that in church. Um, so this is Christmas.
Okay. Um, uh, think about that. Okay. Um, okay. Um, yeah, okay. So, um, so that's it. Um, so thank you for watching. And let me know your, your top 10. And then maybe next year, um, I might do another top 10 favorite Christmas song. Um, so that's it, and thank you, and God bless you.